Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Monument. We've got some big news on Rivian. Rivian has started building the R1T electric truck for its customers. This information came directly from RJ Scarin, who announced on Tuesday that the company produced its first R1T EV for a customer. After months of building pre-production vehicles, this morning our first customer vehicle drove off our production line in Normal, Illinois. CEO Scarin wrote on Twitter, can't wait to get these into the hands of our customers. Getting to this point have been something of a journey for Rivian. The company had initially planned to start deliveries of the R1T in 2020, but was forced to delay the truck's debut to 2021 when it couldn't get its manufacturing facility, a former Mitsubishi plant, retooled quickly enough. The global pandemic only added to the automaker's problem, forcing it to push back the launch of the R1T and the R1S from July to September. Everything from facility construction to equipment installation to vehicle component supply, especially semiconductors, have been impacted by the global pandemic. But even with the factors in those setbacks, the R1T is making its way to consumers' door before the Tesla Cybertruck and the Ford F-150 Lightning. Both of these vehicles won't debut before the start of 2022. So naturally, in my own personal opinion, I think this is great news for Rivian. I think this is absolutely brilliant. This is exactly what they wanted to do. And considering that Rivian is actually gearing up for its IPO, I would say this is a brilliant step for Rivian in putting a lot of positivity into people, into people who believe in this company before actually going public. Speaking of going public, Rivian aims to raise as much as 8 billion in its IPO. And by the way, that's a huge number, 8 billion valuation, given the fact that Rivian haven't actually sold any vehicles to anyone as of yet. They've had reservations, sure. But Tuesday this week was the first time an official vehicle was finished on the Rivian assembly line. And this was the first vehicle for Rivian's first customer. Up until this moment, Rivian has never delivered a vehicle to any customers. So to value your company at 80 billion, I would say that setting yourself up for a major disappointment on that very day when this company does go public. Now, regardless of that, Amazon is the company who backs Rivian the most. Rivian is aiming to raise between five to eight billion with the listing, making it one of the largest US initial public offerings of recent years. Rivian registered the IPO confidentially with the US regulators last month. Now, obviously, we know it's seeking a valuation of 80 billion in its listing, which is expected to land in October or November this year. Now, it's possible that this is a calculated decision being made by Rivian. Late in the year, a lot of investors are going to start investing in companies before the start of the new year. Rivian probably understands this and they actually want to get that advantage by going public in and around October or November, giving investors a chance to invest in Rivian as early as possible before the start of 2022. Now, additionally, if Rivian raise 80 billion in its IPO, that would rank it as the fourth biggest of past decade in the United States. Only three other companies have raised more than 8 billion in its IPOs since 2011. According to D-Logic Alibaba, which raised a world record of 25 billion in 2014, Facebook, who raised 16 billion in 2012, and Uber, which raised 8.1 billion in 2019. Now, proceeds from the IPO will allow Rivian to expand production beyond its assembly plant in, in Normal, Illinois. The startup has said it's in talks with multiple locations to build a second US factory. Now Rivian interest in building a secondary US factory, I've spoken about this before in previous videos, that could include an investment of at least 5 billion. Now Rivian has not provided detail on its IPO's plan, but it's expected to reveal its finance for the first time in public filing in the coming weeks. Rivian vehicles are now ready for sale in all 50 states following key certifications. Rivian vehicles have received certifications from three agencies. The final hurdle that allows the electric automaker to sell and deliver its R1T pickups trucks. 
and a R1S SUV in all 50 states, Rivian confirmed to TechCrunch in an email that the vehicles are fully certified by Natural Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The Environmental Protection Agency and the California Air Reserve Board. Rivian has a direct sale model in which customers can order its vehicles online. Dealer protection law in many states prohibits companies like Rivian from having its own stores where customers can take test drives and learn about financing options. However, there is no restriction from customers ordering online from those states. Today, 22 states allow for all vehicle manufacturers to sell vehicles to customers, according to the NRDC. In those states, Rivian can set up stores, display vehicles, offer test rides, and importantly, discuss financing. Another 11 states allow for only Tesla, which also has a direct sale model to sell vehicles, often in a limited number of locations throughout the states. Rivian plans to begin deliveries of the R1T launch edition this month, deliveries of the R1S SUV are expected to follow this year. Naturally, this is big news. This is very important for Rivian overall because Rivian is after all a US company. And Rivian is also backed by two major US companies. This includes Amazon and Ford. Now considering all of this is a great positive thing that Rivian can now sell both of their main vehicles to consumers in all 50 states in the United States. This is brilliant for Rivian overall. Once again, it's news like these that will help Rivian in its initial public offering. It's positive news that everyone wants to hear. Investors want to hear these positive news and this is good for Rivian overall. Now in one final news, because Rivian pickup truck is officially in production and they've officially made a pickup truck that's crossed the assembly line that will soon be delivered to customers. This simply means that EV startup Rivian beats Tesla, GM, Ford as its first automaker to produce electric pickups. And I'm reading this word for word from CNBC. EV startup Rivian is the first automaker to bring an electric pickup truck to the consumer market, beating Tesla and General Motors and others in what expected to be a hotly contested segment in the years ahead. Rivian founder and CEO RJ Scoring on Tuesday tweeted that the company's first R1T pickup for customers drove off the assembly line in the morning at its plant in Normal, Illinois. And of course, we spoke about this before in this video that Rivian officially started making their electric pickup truck. This is big for Rivian. This is also big news for the electric car space. This is an electric pickup. This is an electric pickup truck. This is a big deal. This cannot be underestimated and it should be appreciated. And the amazing thing is that Rivian actually beat Tesla to the punch. Considering how well Tesla is doing, considering how much money they have from investors and considering how well Tesla is doing in places like Shanghai, you would think that Tesla would probably have won this race to build a pickup truck. And especially Tesla is an American company and Tesla being an American company, they understand just how important it is to have a pickup truck in the Americas and the rest of the world, of course. So it's interesting that Tesla did not see this coming this quickly. Of course, they announced the Cybertruck a couple of years ago, but still the Cybertruck is gonna be a while before it's in production and to be delivered to customers. So Rivian is not just beating Tesla to the punch, they're also, they're also doing it at a time when Tesla is not close to building the Cybertruck as of yet. They're still at least a year or two years away. And this was recently announced on Twitter by guess who? Elon Musk. Sadly, Cybertruck is delayed once again. And the Tesla Roadster is also delayed as well. But to be honest, it's not a complete surprise. Tesla's focusing on the Model 3, the Model Y. Tesla's focusing on what's working for them right now. They're planning to build a Cybertruck and obviously the Roadster, but they have to plan that in advance. But right now they have to focus on what's doing the best in the market and that's mostly the Model 3. That's one of the reasons why Rivian beat Tesla to the punch in making the EV pickup truck. It's mostly because Tesla was too focused on the Model 3, but you cannot disagree with what Tesla's chosen to do. They focus more on the Model 3 because that's always been their plan is to make an affordable everyday EV for anyone. Considering the fact that the, now unfortunately, the Model 3 isn't as affordable as we'd like to think. It's 40 grand in the UK alone but it's gonna be a long time before we get a good EV that costs 25 grand. 
But nevertheless, this is brilliant news for EV in general and for Tesla and for Rivian and for any electric company right now. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.